stick baits in the surf. That is tasty. Fish on. Yep. I see that tissue is soaking up all that soy sauce. Ay, ay, ay. Yep, fish on. Now for the good bit. That is what we want. Beautiful. Let's get straight into it. I think today is all about stick baits again. We're going to be chucking stick baits out into the surf, trying to cast it along the reef and trying to find some fish so we can have some sushi on the beach. I'm going to be trying it in a completely new way. I've never done it before. A few people might have seen it done this way, but that'll be at the end of the video. Hopefully first, we can go and find some fish though. Stick baits in the surf. Very, very weedy down here today. Chucking out a stick bait with a single treble on the back and punching it out as far as we can. I think he will be far enough. Get this out the back. Bloody seals just popped right up in that middle bit then. Come on, right out the back, right out the back. Oh no, that's annoying. Left that too late. That's lucky. Whew. That's very lucky. Ay, ay, ay. Where's the fish at? A lot of weed going back out now. I think we'll move from this spot. We'll keep moving though. We'll just move around the beach, try on the other side where there's maybe a little bit less weed and check it out there. See if there's any fish hanging around out that side. Sometimes it's not always easy. You just gotta keep moving to find the fish. Hopefully we can. It's not the best tide at the minute. Beaches are still absolutely jam-packed with seaweed. Look at this. We're just gonna go past this big lump of seaweed that's in front of us and cast off. I don't know if you can see this on the camera. There's a reef edge here. The water pumps over the side of that and there's sometimes salmon sitting in that deeper section there. So we're just gonna cast into that area. Might change up from the stick bait. Might chuck out a couple of metals, change downsize the lure. See if we can find any. Some fish here, see if we can find any fish. Aye, right, first cast. Right out the back along that weed edge. Stand back a little bit. That was a awful cast. Oh, yep. Fish on, yep. <laughs> I wasn't sure if that was a fish or not then. First cast. I was daydreaming. I was completely and utterly daydreaming then. On the stick bait as well, nice. Beautiful, all right, we've got a bit of sushi at least. I did a video on how important it is to bleed these, especially, I'm gonna be making sushi out of it. I'm gonna gill it and gut it as I'm sitting here, get everything out of it, give it a good wash. And that should be good eating for some lovely sushi. As I said, try and something new today. But that's a nice salmon to start us off. Well, I definitely don't need to downsize. Hopefully there's some bigger ones about though. And I'm not gonna, oh, no, awful cast again. Don't want to fish on that one. What I was gonna say is I don't need to flick it quite as far. But I definitely don't need to be flicking it as close as I did. Let that sink for a couple of seconds. Oh, bites, that was a bite. Oh, I lost that one. <laughs> they're in close, they're in really close. That's definitely not weed. I'm looking forward to trying this sushi as well, this new way. As I said before, it's not something that I've tried before. I'm looking forward to giving it a go. Yeah, right in the surf there. <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. Oh, 
Oh, nice. That is a good bit of bait, and we'll be keeping that as well. Yellow-eyed mullet. I'm going to do a couple more casts with this, and then we're going to change it over to a metal slug, see if we can find any fish on that. I reckon one or two more salmon, and that'll do us. Fish anyway. Yep, fish on. Beautiful. Oh, I lost it. That was exactly what I didn't want to happen, for it to hit the weed. I think as soon as we put a metal on, yep, fish on. Then we'll, uh, we'll find a few more fish, I think. For the minute though, that'll do. Maybe we don't need to. Well, another salmon on stick bait for the minute. Maybe we don't need to change out to a metal because that's quite a small salmon that. But meat would be nice and tender, so we'll keep that guy as well. A couple more casts. Oosh. Yeah, just on. <laughs> just felt that as it was sinking. Slightly better one. This guy's going to be going back as well. Only need the two. Beautiful fish. All right, let's go make some sushi. Got these sitting out in the sun as well, which is not good. All right, guys, we've got two fish. Let's go fill it these up and make some sushi down the beach. Beautiful. All right, guys, well, I can't think of a more perfect spot to cut up some sushi than on the beach, right next to some rock pools where we can wash the fish off. I'm just gonna run through what you're gonna need for it. Some kitchen towel, plastic bag, soy sauce, and some lime. All right, we've got two fillets off that fish, and then we're just gonna do the one fish for the minute, actually. Two beautiful fillets. We'll just get the skin off of them. For this one, I'm gonna try and keep as much bloodline off of that as possible. Just cut that bone out of there. Give them another little wash in some salt water. Now for the good bit. Let's give these a go. Right guys, so what the idea is, is that you wrap some of these in a couple bits of tissue. Need some good quality stuff apparently so it doesn't break up. Again, I have not tried this before. I think maybe one is enough. Fold them up. So you've got a little parcel. So there's your little parcel of fish. Parcel of fish. Par, par, parcel of fish. You know what I meant. Soy sauce goes in the bag. And then the all important lime as well. Get that lime right in there. Plenty of lime. Save the other half of lime, because I want that to go on top of the fish as well. And then that little parcel just gets laid inside that bag. So you whack that in there, and that soaks up all the soy sauce and the lime. And what the idea is behind that, is that it gives it a really even spread over the fish. So you can see that tissue is soaking up all that soy sauce. And it'll be holding it around that fish to get it beautifully flavored. What we're gonna do is just leave that there for 10 minutes, tidy up a little bit, and then we'll be ready for some sushi on the beach. Beautiful.
perfect for a plate. That is what we want. Beautiful. All right, guys, it's been about 10, 15 minutes. Let's check out what this fish is looking like. Cut it up. So the parcel, the tissue all stays together. Parcel opens up like that. I'd say that maybe after a couple of hours, it'd be even better. And then we've got some bits of fish here. Just give these a little slice as well. Obviously, this knife is not gonna be very sharp at all. Let's just cut them ends off. Blunting my knife right up, cutting on this stone. But you can definitely see there's a slight difference in the meat in the middle. This is gonna be beautiful. Let's put a little bit more lemon on there. Lime, sorry. This is living, man. Beautiful. Mm. Oh yeah. Beauty. That is tasty. Wow, Australian salmon, that does make some really good sushi. If you had a, a decent knife to cut that really thin, that would be really, really nice. With that lime as well. That's an awesome way to do sashimi. Really good, I like that. As I said before, first time doing that. I'm gonna sit here, enjoy the rest of this food. Thanks for watching. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. If you're enjoying the videos, hit the like button on your way out. Remember guys, find something you're passionate about, do it as much as possible. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.